The Abuja Chamber of Commerce and Industry has announced that the 18th International Trade Fair in Abuja is set to showcase commerce, culture and innovation with over 500 exhibitors. Announcing the upcoming trade fair at a press conference earlier today in Abuja, the president, ACCI Dr. Admutaba Abubakar, represented by the Director General Victoria Akai, disclosed how the trade fair would create jobs turnover of about 1 billion naira and expand the frontiers of Nigeria's businesses. This edition will feature a special designated and curated diplomatic space for foreign representation, trade missions and international organizations to present their businesses, economic cooperation projects as well as featured products and technologies. Over 500 companies are expected to participate in the 2023 edition of the trade fair, while 100,000 visitors or more within and outside Nigeria are expected to attend. So far, over 500 companies have indicated interest and we are expecting more. So when we are, when we are um, having trade fairs, the exhibitors create jobs, right? So the fair creates jobs. If we have 500 exhibitors um, in the trade fair and each of them employs two salespersons, that is 1,000 persons employed. The transactions over the years have grown from, hot, from millions. Now we're looking at this year, we're going to have a turnover of more than 1 billion naira. And we're hoping that next year it's going to be more. Our SMEs are also able to come and sell and make profit. New products come into Abuja. This year, we're going to have uh, the circular economy coming here. So we'll see uh, a range of alternative power sources, solar companies, new products. So, I mean, the benefits are enormous. And the ACCI also emphasized that the trade fair is not just about business transactions, but also a platform to celebrate culture, fashion, and more. The chamber also disclosed that the upcoming trade fair will create opportunity for manufacturers to interact with consumers in boosting Nigeria SMEs and export sector. People are looking towards uh, alternative sources of financing, and taxation is the first that comes to mind. So. The SCC IRS is here. There will be uh, a lot of activities around tax education. Also, we have put in the fair uh, a mini conference of sustainable taxation and financing. This is intended to clear some of the issues around tax harmonization, double taxation, especially if you live in the FCT, where sometimes there are issues between who collects what, is it AMAC or is it FCT? And the fashion industry has a lot of uh, uh, young and upcoming uh, 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 practitioners. So, and one major issue that usually uh, they have is the issue of generating content for their social media platforms, the cost of photography, access to runways. So, within the fashion corner in the in the fairground, we are building a forty-foot runway and we're calling it the free runway show. So this runway is totally for free. This year, we're gonna have states like uh, Zamfara, Ekiti, Edo, Edo uh, Akwaibom. They are all coming with those cultural diversities. So we've really done a lot of research and taken feedback from the previous trade fairs and we're improving on it. And that is part of the improvements that we're including into it. And this year's trade fair, which is the 18th trade fair, is scheduled to take place from 29th of September to 9th of October 2023 with the theme Sustainable Financing and Taxation as Drivers for New Economy. It is expected to serve as a platform for businesses to engage with financial and tax institutions, discuss current trends and solutions, and foster sustainability or sustainable approaches to the African continental free trade area.